Hi, I'm Sabaur and I just made a vanilla tutorial. In this tutorial I will show you guys how to make an IK rig. And illustrate um, one method of doing rig that I feel better to do than just making it away. With any further ado, let's get on it. Am I using Blender 2.5 Beta version 2.356.0? And here I have two simple rigs. If I move one, one of them I can see it is working. Wing. And let's yes, bring forth. Let's hide that little the ring on the right. And so me on this guy. Whoops, a little too close. As you can see, I started to create the armature for the, this guy from here. I went over here, down, and up, and up. You might seem that this is working as it should, but it is one major disadvantage of creating a rig in this way. Let's say I am just only want to rotate the leg here. So watch what's happening. I will try. Entire rig moves. And this is because everything is parented down to this bone. Here I can, here I can move just the leg. So let's go to this side. And everything moves again. To get around this problem can enable this rig again. I have started from this bone, now went downwards into the legs, then I extruded that little ball there so upwards and creating this ring, part of the rig. What is happening if I move their feet? Only the feet moves. I get the entire with the legs, of course, and that works as well. Wait, wait. And make this a little bit easier to animate. So, I will show you guys how to create an IK constraint on this one. Because making this, uh, this was kind of could be a little tricky. So let's hide that rig, and move that to lane number two to get it off screen, like so. And let's show the menu again. Okay, and the rig is named rig number rig two. By the way. To make an AK constraint, we need to configure a rig a little bit. So I'll go into edit mode, go to side view by pressing numpad 3, uh, selecting that ball, whoops, wrong key, these two. At the other end there, I'll extrude them both backwards like so if I want to pop into object mode uh, post mode you can see oops wrong key can I move them around they are parented to that parent bone is parented to that bone now right now in this case we we'll do not want that this should be a separate bone but so I will select the bone Press and hold down Alt and then press the P in edit mode. <laughs> then this window come up and just uh, just clear the parent. Now if we go into post mode, I can move that button separately. This is the behavior we want. 
do the same thing to the sucking bone. Alt P, clear part. Let's do the same thing on both hands. Screw them backwards. Near parent. Both of them. Uh, the blue. There we go. Oh, and one more bone we need to create. So back into the moon. The, here is the center on where uh, the armature is split. Screw also the, that on backwards. And clear parent. Now, when that is done, press the N key to get the. Uh, how does we use up and name each bone of this bone we just excluded? I suggest you name every rig bone, bone in the armature easier that way if you well, have to debug something. For the sake of time issue, I will not do this in this video. I just just rename few of them. There's that is bone I'm called master. And uh, shine is left or right. That one is the left side. So can can call that hand. But L Ansh hand dot L hand dot L <laughs> what hand dot L underscore IK because that bone this bone will be a part of the uh, IK system I named that hand dot R for IK for the right side this I mean, is the feet dot l right dot underscore i k feet dot r underscore i k and yeah let's change that to no there we go I'm not gonna rename any more bones Okay, now let's do the thumb part. We can begin up on the uh, hand there. Select the b that bone in post mode. And just press tab to get into post mode, by the way. Actually, I'm going to hide it. that one. And then go to bone con constraints. And press add constraint, universe kinematics nothing will now happen if I move this bone except for this behavior you have to specify a target and that's the armature and uh, so for the icon constraint properties so just press here and choose the rig the armature and this is rig 2 and then we should specify the name of that bone and is hand.r underscore ik so I'm gonna find hand press a like so now with that done, I can move the, just move this bone and then it will move entire down to the where the rig separates but we only want this to take in account that bone and that bone. So, count to mind is from that bone, including this one, one, two. And go back to the icon constraints settings and change chain length to two. And there we have the behavior we want. Let's quickly do this for the rest of the. Uh, Excuse me, the ar armature hand L I K chain link two. Do the exact same thing for as from for the legs. Armature I K rig two. Excuse me, rig two good. And feet. R I K. Chain at one two. 
Inverse Kinematics Rig 2 oh, Oops Feet L I K Dong Dong There we go Now if we move the master bone you can see it's separated but we what we wanted to do from edit mode select that bone then if select the master bone press control P may parent but keep the offset this is important keep the offset otherwise if you use connected whoops your parent and connected they, that will happen the entire rig shifts back there to the, uh, that tip here and that is unwanted so let me uh, undo, undo that try again with control P but keep it all set this will make me able to move just the master bone on the entire up rig except for the IK will follow that the master bone and that master bone will be used to move the entire rig Let's do the same thing for the latter one part. Control P, Mac, Parent, Keep Offset. There we go. And now the rig is completed. And I hope you have found this tutorial <laughs> helpful. And if you want anything more, uh, let me know either by sending a PM, personal message, or a comment on this video. Hope you have a nice day, all Blender users.